Hello beauties, it's Tiffany. I am so excited to share with you this look that I created with the new Viva Glam Nikki lipstick. It's great for spring because it has your pops of color. And if you like this look, keep on watching. For a primer, I really like to use the NYX Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil and I'm just concentrating on the lid and then slowly bringing it up right underneath my brow. For the highlight shadow, I'm using MAC Mylar Eyeshadow with a MAC brush. This one is brush number 239 and I'm just keeping it right underneath my brow bone. I want to deepen up the crease a little bit, but I really don't want to put a dark color. So I'm taking Kid from MAC, and with a blending brush, this one is the MAC 224, I'm just creating a soft, diffused shadow effect by concentrating in the crease and then blending up. Nylon is the shadow that we are going to use for the lid. I'm using it with the MAC. Uh, 252 brush and just packing it right on that lid. I really like this brush because you can use it with both cream, liquid, or powder um, products. Now let's add some color to our look. I'm taking Aquadesiac from MAC and with the uh, MAC 242 brush, which is the baby version of the 252, I'm just placing Aquadesiac right into the crease, just packing it and kind of going in the outline of the crease. Next, this is more of a tapered blending brush and I'm just blending that aqua color right into the crease. I don't want a harsh line, I want it really nice and diffused. You can do the step in layers like what I'm doing right now. Just kind of place the product and then blend, place and blend. Now if you see your shadow get a little bit muddy, um, go ahead and use a fluffier blending brush. This one's the 224, just to blend the edges. I wanna create a little bit more dimension to this eye, so I'm taking a darker, kind of bluish green color. This one is called Plumage from MAC, and with a bullet, kind of tapered brush, I'm just concentrating in the outside corner, making a V shape, and then bringing it down to the lower lash line as well, but not all the way, just right at the very end. You really wanna place the product and then work it inward. Um, don't place a lot of product because it might get too dark for you, especially we have this brighter aqua eyeshadow. We don't wanna replace that. And then always blend out your edges so it's nice and soft. So with any type of eyeliner that you choose, you can do a liquid, a gel, a pencil. Um, go ahead and line your eyes, top and bottom. You may, you know, if you decide to do a angled eye, cat eye, whatever you choose, and whatever is best for you. I personally like to make a little wing at the end. And by the video, you can tell I start with the wing first, and this will help create my shape. And then I'll just go all the way over. For the drop shadow technique, I am using Lucky Green from MAC. And I'm just smudging it right underneath the lower lashes. To complete your eye, you're gonna, of course, curl your eyelashes. I like to give, you know, one to two great curls with it and then top it off with your favorite mascara. And don't forget your bottom lashes too. Now that we have shadow underneath, we don't want our lashes to be hiding. To complete our eye look, I just added some long false eyelashes to give it a little bit more oomph. Now I usually don't do this on my videos, but I thought it'd be a great time to show you the new Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Foundation. 
Um, it is a spray kind of mousse foundation and I like to work it on my hand. As you can see, I'm gonna shake it up and okay, this is way too much. A little goes a long way. And I'm gonna use a stippling brush and I'm just gonna buff this all over my face or wherever you really need um, some coverage. I really like this foundation. Um, it feels really lightweight. It gave me the coverage that I needed. Um, and it was really fast and easy to use. If you are wondering, I do not apply my foundation as fast as this, so I did fast forward it just a little bit. Um, so all of you watching don't get bored of just me applying my foundation in my hair. But it's okay. I just blend it out. And me uh, watching TV while I'm doing my foundation. If you guys are wondering, this is the Golden Beige. Um, I am a MAC NC42, so if you're a MAC NC42 or even an NC40, this color will work for you. A lot of foundation left over, so I'm gonna use it as a concealer as well. I'm gonna start with my fingers and just kind of blend it right underneath my eye and then um, kind of bringing it down as well to my cheek area. I'm going to apply my blush and bronzer with a fan brush. I know a lot of you have probably seen these at your local cosmetic um, counters or department stores. And I really love it because it gives a nice wash of color without looking too overly done. It's time for our lips. So the lip liner that I found matches very well to the Viva Glam Nikki is the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in Anticipation from MAC. So I have to say, probably so far out of all the Viva Glam lipsticks, this Viva Glam Nikki is my favorite. I love the way that it looks um, with my particular skin tone, which I am at NC42 in the MAC Foundations. And it's, it doesn't look too chalky on me, but it's just that right amount of like a bubblegum pink. I hope you guys liked my new video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.